There is a remarkable number of similarities between what the Democrats faced in 1968 and what they're looking at today. For starters, both years' DNC conventions were held in Chicago. That's random. Both are going to have Chicago swarmed with anti-war protesters. In 68, it was people protesting the Vietnam War. This time around, we are likely going to see a lot of people protesting in defense of the Palestinians. Both years had someone named Robert F. Kennedy running for president. Both years had a new Planet of the Apes movie come out. Now that part doesn't really have anything to do with what we're talking about, but it's just such a crazy coincidence. Now there are some very important parts that might be the same, but we don't know yet. In 1968, we saw LBJ, the incumbent president, announce he would not be seeking re-election. Biden is the incumbent, and he says he's staying in the race, but many, like myself, are quite skeptical. In 1968, the person that ended up getting chosen at the convention was Hubert Humphrey, LBJ's vice president. Kamala Harris is Joe Biden's VP. It is very possible she would get chosen this year at an open convention. I really hope she would not be the choice, but it's definitely possible. But something Democrats really need to remember about 1968 is they lost. The Republican Richard Nixon won. I would not like Donald Trump to win this time around. I also think Joe Biden should drop out. Democrats need to learn from the lessons of 1968 if they don't want to see history repeat itself.